<sighs> Whew. I've been edited for God knows how long. A lot of footages that I've put together today. And uh, today happens to be a wonderful day. This video marks my 300th video that I've uploaded over here on my YouTube channel. And it deserves something new. <laughs> I know, I know. This is not the best idea that I could have come with, but you know, different angle. I think it's given, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. So a quick backstory. April 3rd, 2018 was when this YouTube channel was given birth to. And uh, yes, I remember that I was doing my service. 2018, wow, it's been quite a while. If there should be a regret in my life pertaining to me being here or my presence over here on YouTube, it will be that I didn't start earlier because I fall in love with YouTube, creating content to inspire others to help youngsters become better than they used to be. In that very same process, I've also accumulated enough knowledge and a lot more experience to you know, tackle some issues that in the past, I would say, wasn't very easy to actually tackle. <laughs> Initially, I had no idea about how YouTube was run, how YouTube, you know, could earn someone money or whatsoever. But when I started out, one thing that was very important to me was that I wanted to create videos as I learned, you know. I had been practicing photography for quite some time and I remember that there was this particular shoe, this very one. You see me over there, that thing guy over there wearing glasses. I used to wear glasses, but I don't like wearing them anymore because it creates this, you know, um, should I call it, is it a crease or something there? you know, over the ear and I don't really like that mark. So I've put it aside, but that's actually me again. And uh, you see me holding this beauty dish and I'm helping Gog, with whom I was in the same class in the university. And uh, because we were introduced to photography and filmmaking during communication design, I had to learn photography. And through that process, as I was helping others, trying my best to actually understand the camera that I was using, the Nikon D5100. Yes, um, I was also creating videos. I didn't actually understand how to create videos in that particular year in which this particular video was made. Uh, this video was made by a friend, a classmate who was originally a photographer, but he switched to doing video. And in fact, in our class, we actually segregated into three groups, all right? Multimedia, advertising and media management as well as graphic design and I did multimedia he went over to do graphic design but he was learning filmmaking at a very fast rate that it's quite similar to how I started photography because someone doing something totally from my course of study which we are much more opportune to learn photography as a course and this person doesn't do that as a course and it's getting better by the day I started photography in that process. And now a colleague who used to do a lot of photography before and I was inspired, he taught me, took me through it. Now wants to do filmmaking and it's like he was gonna learn from scratch all by himself. He got himself a 6D. Then buying a 6D was like <laughs> buying a house, maybe. That's how I would compare it or buying a car. And most definitely I'll consider it to be expensive because uh, I wasn't earning as much before, but um, it's quite a different story right now because now i'm still using the 6d that i bought and i'm looking forward to purchase a new camera but i've been focusing on getting more equipment in terms of filmmaking much more than photography nowadays but however my 6d still works so still fine i've actually made a video talking about that i'm gonna leave it down in the description below so check it out why i still use the canon eos 6d till date all right so back again to youtube all right the youtube space itself it's it's a platform where you have to actually learn. It's just like being on Instagram and you are finding ways to create reels, to create all these videos, to you know foster yourself in the algorithm so that the algorithm will actually propagate your content so that a lot of people will see you, see your content, come over. And of course, what we all wish to have on our platform is to get people following, all right? YouTube equally is a whole different ball game different ecosystem altogether which if you are not careful you might stop in the middle of it because it is tiring trust me it is tiring i've been doing this for 2018 till date and i'm barely 6,000 subscribers maybe it's because i don't post consistently or i didn't used to post a lot of content consistently before but you know as compared to now i'm able to get 
good number of views which i'm going to talk about um how i got my views moving up and up like that and it's not pertaining to just consistency or just uploading a lot of videos but the quality of videos are very important because the platform is actually competitive especially when you're doing my genre which is photography and filmmaking it is so treated a lot of creators over here on youtube are doing that so the main reason why i actually started youtube once again was because i wanted to learn and as i learned i wanted to also create content because i realized that what i was learning i was able to also teach people who didn't really understand even in my class at that particular period so when i was doing my service and i started my youtube channel i only uploaded that video <laughs> that particular video just to see you know what would come of it i think i don't think i even shared it anywhere i just uploaded it for you know posterity so that next time if i want to check it out or someone wants to check it out later in the years they could do that and i still enjoy seeing that particular video it's been a long time since i checked it out until my 300th video which is this one and uh yeah i'm so glad to share that with you if you've been a follower of my work from the initial stages doing youtube i'm pretty sure you acknowledge the growth and you know you also appreciate the development of how good my videos have turned out as compared to before because i was trying to find out my way find my feet on this particular platform and now i'm able to accumulate a good number of views in a day initially it was difficult to even reach 10 views and it was frustrating because here I was seeing a lot of creators on YouTube creating mind-provoking content, uploading and getting a lot of views, millions and millions of views. And I was here trying to replicate what they were doing, hoping that I also get that same number of views. But it is totally different. When you're doing YouTube, once again, as I said, if you are not careful, you might fall into the pit of depression because you can spend hours and hours creating one content, you know, editing for even sometimes two days because you want it to come out as the best ever video hoping that you get a lot of views and yes that's actually that video that wouldn't accumulate enough views <laughs> and it becomes so taunting in fact if you are in that particular situation right now i will tell you to continue uploading never lose hope so when i wasn't getting those number of views that i really wanted to see on my channel i had to strategize an idea plan all right here i have my instagram platform where i have you know relatively a good number of subscribers i think then that was probably eight thousand followers or so and so as i was creating content on my channel i would put you know just a snippet of it a few minutes you know sometimes seconds put it on my instagram and redirect them to go watch my you know to go watch the full video over there on my channel and if they liked it they will subscribe and it was helping bit by bit by bit and i was also learning how to you know skew down the content i was creating because you don't have to waste time you don't have to waste someone's time if i'm talking to you right now and i'm not actually going straight to the point and i'm beating about the bush you're definitely going to click away because i'm not the only content creator over here on this platform so I needed to learn that and when i realized that that was actually one of the main principles in content creation that you don't waste time then i started seeing a dramatic difference on my channel people were subscribing now i was creating much more better content because as i was learning challenging myself each and every day i was able to create content of behind the scenes and sometimes even go ahead and explain it to you know my people to watch and if they enjoyed it i noticed that my comments were also increasing video per video per video fast forward to 2020 the pandemic happened and yes most of we creators were actually at home and we were not actually very active on our instagram because people were sharing content people were sharing raw files to other creators to you know work around with it you know it was all about staying at home and trying to be productive but it was very very difficult so i picked up another you know genre to touch on where I noticed that a lot of content creators were creating B-roll challenges, like beer B-roll challenges and a lot of other products that you could use. So here, I needed to get myself occupied. So I started doing that. And I created this very first B-roll sequence that I think it was far beyond what I could do. So it was like, it was a milestone. I really enjoyed creating it, this Heineken beer B-roll sequence in the bottle. And when I put it up there, I think it's one, of the videos that actually attracted a lot of people to my channel and uh, i did the behind the scenes created you know 
a video explaining how I came about, you know, the shots, the lighting, my space, everything. And I think it's the most watched video over on my channel. I think it has accumulated a little bit over 20 thousand views and i'm grateful for that and it actually told me that i was on the right path at that point i knew that i was on the right path so i created a lot of content following up b-roll sequence upon b-roll sequences shooting photography touching on the most important aspects of lighting modifiers you know how to pose models and all that it kept on piling up and piling up and i was seeing a huge improvement over here on my channel and so it motivated me some more so it's like this it starts from somewhere when you are starting something out it is kind of daunting because you are not sure if it's going to work out or not am i wasting my time or eventually is it going to work out these are things that will be baffling your head but as you keep on going you're going to find your feet somewhere because success of everything is actually assured it's guaranteed as long as you keep on doing it when the timing is right it is definitely going to catch up with you so i was close to getting monetized which is very important to every youtube content creator that you get monetized and make money off your youtube videos the content that you put over there because spend time editing shooting editing shooting day in and day out to create content and you need to make ends meet from them all right so yes i was nearing it and i had to get up to thousand subscribers which was very achievable at that point i was i think i was a little bit close to attaining that mark but the next threshold that i needed to nail was a 4000 hours of watch time and god it was like hell it was a huge journey it took me close to should i i think two years because the very first year i was close and i didn't know that in a year, I needed to actually hit that 4,000 hours of watch time mark. Otherwise, the days beyond, we're going to be subtracted from it in terms of the watch hours. <sighs> so I almost got to 3,000 hours of watch time and drastically it reduced after, yeah, one year. <laughs> and it was, you know, it was really painful, but I needed to keep up because now I could see that there's a check over there that I have the 1,000 you know subscriber count now i needed this and i needed to post so i remember that i dedicated a whole month to creating a lot of videos and i created i think i remember i created like 25 or 26 videos in that particular month and i remember i got close to thousands i um, mean subscribers and also with the watch hours i was able to hit a lot now uh, i was nearing this 4,000 hours of watch time so i kept on going kept on going i kept on going because nothing was as important to me as getting that at that point trust me literally so i stopped a lot of things i stopped you know going out to shoot and all creating content in the comfort of my home sitting and editing pictures and recording my screen to create content so literally everything had to be content worthy otherwise i wouldn't touch it and i kept on uploading kept on uploading kept on uploading and boom I hit that mark and in this year in april i was able to hit i believe 13th april and uh google sent me the notification that i could monetize my channel i could apply for my google adsense account and all and i was so happy so yeah i've achieved my goal what's next the next thing on the bill is to find out how i was going to you know monitor how much money i was making so i kept on uploading i kept on creating content i kept on creating content and i could monitor how much money i was making on each video and it wasn't much because i had just started when i started out now i think i can get up to you know three dollars a day which is isn't much as compared to other creators but i'm really grateful for that you know because we all start from somewhere you can't just boom like that and hit well in some rare cases other creators get lucky but in my situation i've actually worked tirelessly on the videos that i put over here i know this video is going to be long but you know let me out <laughs> all right so now on every video i was monitoring how much money i was making and yeah it got me to even push myself a little bit further to create much more content that had issues that are prevalent in that particular space of photography making i was just you know simultaneously creating content on both i mean genres and it was really working out because people were now noticing my channel and they were learning and they were commenting and i realized that people were also giving me suggestions recommendations what should i create next and all and you know what if you disregard what the comments are talking to you about especially your subscribers if they are telling you please create a video on that please create a video on this and that and that please pay attention to that because i remember i made one particular video 
and uh, it was recommended that particular topic was recommended by a subscriber and this video has really done so well it pushed my channel so much so that particular thing is really well if you want to grow your channel listen to your you know your viewers they are very important because you're creating the content for them you shouldn't only create content that you are comfortable with but also listen to what your subscribers may want or what your viewers potential perspective viewers might want because you need them to subscribe in return so yeah you're doing it for them and they are going to watch so that in turn you make money off your videos so yeah basically that was what i was doing i was finding out what my you know subscribers were saying and every comment that they made i did my best to reply now i get a lot of comments that i'm not able to keep up with you know responding to all of them but i'm able to you know bit by bit by bit and that all right so basically now i'm seeing the you know money coming in but i needed to get this pin to be sent to my billing address which is where i live and trust me this part i don't know maybe it's because of where i come from here in ghana is very difficult with our system it's not guaranteed that you can actually receive that physical letter envelope from google and i was here hoping waiting hoping waiting i waited for like two months and when i wasn't receiving i was getting frustrated i was not motivated to create more content because what was the point what if i didn't receive it and i'd stop being placed on my videos because if you don't verify after four months hmm, adverts are not going to be played on your channel on your videos and you're not going to make anything so i i wasn't motivated at all so i remember that i would go to the post office to ask and find out if something was wrong or have they received it and probably they haven't placed it in my pigeon hole or whatever i couldn't find it and i was asked what particular address did i put out and mentioned it and they said if it is right it's definitely going to come so i should just be patient and wait and we entered the third month and here i am, I am again not receiving it and I had to reapply consistently because I knew that if I didn't receive the first month, I had a chance to reapply. One thing that really saved me and you know got me back to my feet to create more content was that there was an alternative where I could you know request and elapse the number of requests that I needed to make. All right, and once I hit that, I can manually generate a code or manually get my billing address verified. And so I forgot all about, you know, the post office going over there because I had spent like three, four months doing that. Close to four months, I mean. I'm going to check if my six digit pin code had arrived. So now I had a guarantee that I could continue uh, uploading the motivation. So um, I waited a while and the very last, you know, request that I needed to make to be able to apply manually. I did that, waited for three weeks and I was in the clear to actually manually verified and i did it <laughs> after doing that you know i got that notification again in my mail that now i'm verified so i jumped straight over to my google adsense account and noticed the changes that you know the display looked like but little did i know that i was actually in for yet another situation where getting your money in your bank account was a problem because here my bank had no idea you know they were kind of skeptical i mean banks are always skeptical if money comes to you across you know across board let's say someone sends you money from a different country you are supposed to be able to verify and prove that you are actually a recipient and you know who sent it and all that so they'll do their background checks and all so i needed to provide this receipt when i hit that hundred dollar mark which will enable me to you know retrieve my money get it into my bank account through wire transfer and um, because that was the option my bank details were all sent to google and so google made that deposit and once they made it i was notified as well so i was expecting my money to jump in i think after a day when i got a notification that my money has been paid my bank called me and uh, they told me to come over to verify so i went over spoke to them about things and i didn't know that there was this particular receipt that i needed to get from my google adsense account so that i could just send it to them and they could use that information to you know clear all the doubts and you know yeah pay me my money so i could cash out <sighs> it took me like a day and a half to be able to find out because it was back and forth and all that they wanted me to come back again and it was tiring for me so i just needed to ask them what i needed to do and all so i did a lot of research and i asked other content creators who you know 
are already making money from their channel and they were telling me about their experiences as well so it's like everybody's experience is quite different but if you're not aware and this is your first time of actually going through this you're gonna find it difficult and you know yeah frustrating but yeah i went ahead because the goal was to actually get the money because I've already received the notification that the money has been paid. Now it has to hit my account to redraw so I can rest assured that my YouTube channel is actually worth it. Yes. So I came back after I received a call from my bank telling me that I needed to verify exactly where the money was coming from and the details I provided them that it was coming from Google wasn't enough. I came back, checked my Google Assets account, went in deep somewhere and uh, yes, I found this particular receipt. And this was exactly what I needed to have sent to them already to get my payment, right? So um, I quickly sent it over through WhatsApp to the bank employee who was helping me out with this situation. And within close to two, three, four hours, yes, my money hit my account and I got a notification. And yes, that made me so excited. I was so happy. And, you know, this journey has been a tiring one, as I said, and so has this particular video because I wanted to summarize. This is actually a summary. I haven't said all the things that I needed to have said. I've left out a lot, but the main point is that whatever it is that you put your mind to, you can actually achieve it. I started YouTube because I wanted to share my ideas, my experience with people, but money wasn't actually the goal, the main goal, even though as I progressed, I learned that I was going to be able to make a lot more than I thought I would on my YouTube channel. So it pushes me some more. But money isn't actually the factor that you have to consider first of all. Otherwise, if it's not coming in or if you are not seeing the growth that you're expecting from your channel, you might get depressed, you can get discouraged and you can't push to that goal. So yes, it's a journey, like a journey that I have dreaded to this point. And I'm close to 6,000 subscribers. And today I'm happy that I'm getting the number of views that I'm getting now. It's close to like, let's say 300 views on a video within two days, which sometimes it can go beyond like 600 and sometimes even thousand views depending on the kind of content and i've strategized my plans and now i know what content i should give my my audience to you know just to test the waters and those that i know that are guaranteed to get me the views that i can be looking forward to and a lot of work goes into either of them so sometimes you say done is better than perfect but sometimes perfection also helps especially when you know that this content is actually going to do good with your experience on the platform. So yeah, once again, if you're not motivated to create content to get to that goal, this should actually help you out because I was also in that same boat and I'm actually out of it and now I'm on the journey of getting my channel to that stage where I wanted to get to. So yeah, basically that's what I wanted to share with you. And this actually has been my YouTube journey. I am close to 6,000 subscribers, gladly. Yes, and uh, yeah, and I couldn't have asked for any better way to describe this, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching all the videos I create over here because had it not been you guys, I wouldn't be here talking about my experience on YouTube and you know the milestones that I've actually achieved till date. And I owe it all to you guys once more. Thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do that. Turn on the post notification button so that the next time I upload a new video over here. You'll be the first to see it and to watch it. Have a wonderful day. See ya.